y'all, this is T-Roy Cooks. And the other night, T-Roy cooked me some crowded peas and I fell in love. They were delicious. They were. They were so good. In fact, I want some more tonight. So I got a batch going over there and I eat mine with some cornbread and I thought you should know how to make it. At least the way I do. Yeah, right? It's good stuff. So I'm going to show you how. So you get on out of here now and let me do it. Tonight, hey, cool. tonight Karen cooks. All right. <laughs> All right. So I make this simple. This is Jiffy. And I'm going to put two batches of this in here. Two boxes, I guess I should say. And then it calls for a third a cup of milk per box. So I'm going to put in two thirds. Oh, you know what? I need eggs, babe. Oh, you do? Sure okay. do. I need two eggs. I'll hook you up. I was thinking I was forgetting something. Two eggs come to catch. I'm kidding. Throw eggs <laughs> in there. <laughs> All right. T-Roy Cooks. T-Roy Cooks. T-Roy Cooks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now normally this is about where this mix ends, just right here. But we're going to do some additions because we just can't stick with simple stuff. we got to add stuff to it all the time. Yeah, you know I do. But this makes it so much better. We've got a garden out back and pretty much everybody I know that has a garden has a salsa garden because we like to eat a lot of salsa. So we've got a lot of peppers, jalapeno and serranos and um, what are those? Poblano. Poblano peppers. So we're going to add some to our mix. So I've got this batter mixed up and we're going to throw in some corn. Now what I did I had some frozen corn and I put this in the microwave for about a minute and a half just so it's a little bit cooked and it's not frozen when you add it into your batter. So we're adding that and this is about a cup. Roasted corn would be great in that too. Yeah it would. And this is about a half a cup of cut up, <coughs> Woo! did I just break that? Nah you good. Alright, chopped onion, that woke the dogs up and we've got some uh, <laughs> Poblano pepper and some jalapeno pepper. Now that poblano, you're probably used to seeing it green, but it's been sitting on the vine so long that it's turned red. So it'll be a little bit spicier because of that. All right, and then we're gonna add this cheese. Now I have some grated cheddar cheese and Monterey Jack cheese. And again, this is about a cup, because y'all know how much T-Roy likes his cheese. So we gotta have cheese. <laughs> I got a cheese ball. Now you can mix this together, <laughs> and you really don't want to overmix this batter, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. And we're going to let this sit here for about three to four minutes, and then we're going to put it in the oven. Okay, we're back. So the three or four minutes has gone by, and this has just been sitting here. I haven't done anything else, and I'm going to use Troy's cast iron pan, and I'm just going to add a little bit of pan. Just to make sure it doesn't stick and it's easier to clean up later. Now I'm just going to take this batter, put it in our pan. This is going to be so good, I cannot wait to eat this and yeah. eat it with a batch of crowded peas. Those are so good. If y'all didn't watch that video, you need to watch it and you need to make some of those peas. Alright, that's it. I'm going to get Troy to put this in the oven. The oven's preheated to 400 degrees and we are going to cook this. I don't know, probably about 30 minutes. I'll tell you how long it is when it's ready. Okay, y'all. This has been going for probably about 25 minutes. I would check it in your oven. Woo, don't even pay any attention to my dirty oven. About 20, 25 minutes, check it. I'm going to use this toothpick. It should come out clean, and it does. So this is ready to come on out. You got it, babe? Yep. All right. Mm, that looks good and it smells good too. Sure does. Okay, we're gonna let that cool off slightly so that I can get it out of the pan. But you don't want it to cool too much because then the grease you put in the bottom will be for nothing. So you want it just to be a little bit warm. See you soon. Okay, y'all. Flipped it out of the pan and it's on the plate and it looks delicious. We're gonna let it cool off just a little bit before I put some butter on it and get my crowder peas and a little rice. Dinner's almost ready. Hi y'all, we're back. For some reason, there's a big piece of cornbread missing. Who was that? Oh, All right. Buddy, Buddy did that. <laughs> or Lucy. Let me cut this, because I am ready to eat. It was good. <laughs> I 
Mm. I'm gonna taste that. I know it really is. Mm -hmm. Y'all should give it a try. So I'm gonna sit down with my crowded peas that Troy made me again because they are so delicious. Love crowded peas. That's mm. kind of good. I've never had these before, but this is something I will definitely have from now on. I'm glad you like them. I love them. How long did that cook? Let's see. It was about 25 minutes. Yeah, at uh, 425. 400. 400. 400. Okay. 25 minutes. Okay. So y'all try that out because it really kicks it up and makes it a special piece of cornbread. I'm gonna show them the inside of it. Yeah, because it looks good. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Mmm. Yummy. It's good stuff. Good job. Mm-hmm. Good job, Karen. <laughs> what are we gonna call this? Karen's cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> Easy enough. <laughs> You're so cute. Alright everybody. Thanks for joining us. I really appreciate Karen joining me on this cook right here. It's, fan, it's fantastic. can't tell you enough. Y'all need to try it. But I uh, appreciate it again. Thanks for joining my channel and subbing. Uh, please share the video. Give me some thumbs up if you like it. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. Remember to tell all your friends, T-Roy cooks. Responsibly. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I need to eat. <laughs>